Welcome to Engineering Update. I'm Casey Panetta, Managing Editor for ECN. In this week's episode, a new form of public transportation, a solution to one wind energy problem, and using drones to eliminate mosquitoes. In a story that has everyone talking, Elon Musk of PayPal, Tesla Motors, and SpaceX fame has announced his newest plan for revamping the world of public transportation. I can personally guarantee anyone who has ever experienced the pack trains at rush hour in New York will be on board for this one. The system is called Hyperloop, and it would allow passengers to travel 350 miles from LA to San Francisco in 30 minutes. The system is based on a series of capsules in a tube. An electric compressor fan run by an onboard battery on the nose of each capsule draws the air through the capsule to move it through the tunnel while minimizing air resistance. The air is then expelled through the bottom of the capsule to keep it floating through the tube. A linear electric motor powered by photovoltaic panels will be placed every 70 miles in the tubes for propulsion. The capsules would move at up to 700 miles per hour. The entire project will cost several billion dollars to build, but Musk doesn't plan on building it himself. He's just supplying the design. One of the off-sided criticisms of wind energy, aside from storage, transport, noise pollution, aesthetics, and expense, is that birds run into the turbines. The bird strikes seem to be a particular problem for eagles, but researchers have worked out a plan to help the birds avoid the whirling death plate. The venture is being focused on the wind farm in Norway, which has reportedly had quite a number of incidents with white-tailed eagles since its completion in 2005. The wind farm has 68 wind turbines that produce 356 gigawatt hours. Gigawatts! Researchers are concerned that part of the problem is that the eagles and other large birds are unable to see the turbines. The solution is to paint one of the rotor blades black to create some contrast. For smaller birds, who might fly a little lower, they're considering painting the lower part of the turbine. Birds see UV lighting better than humans, so researchers hope it will serve as a better warning. Several of the turbines will be outfitted with the lamps as researchers test which option works more efficiently. The final solution could actually end up being a combination of the two, with the farm utilizing UV paint instead. Florida has a serious mosquito problem, and they're turning to law enforcement drones to help with the issue. The Florida Keys Mosquito Control District is less interested in the security aspects of the drone and more interested in using the infrared camera to identify shallow pools of water that might be home to mosquito larvae. The UAV, designed by Condor Aerial, weighs 2.2 pounds and is 2.5 feet long. It can fly for up to 90 minutes at a time. After the potential hazard is identified, a ground team is deployed to treat the area with larvicide. That wraps up this week's report. Be sure to join the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. I'm Casey Panetta, and this has been your Engineering Update. Coming from New Line Home Video. Something evil is in the air. The town's dying faster than any of you want to believe, Roy. Skeeter.